hello friends so in this video we are going to create an gitlab account so first of all we have to search gitlab and just click on it and then we have to create an account so that's why I just click on this sign in gitlab link so after that you will see this kind of screen so we can create an account with two options that we have to create by clicking on register now or we can sign in directly with your google with github twitter bitbucket or salesforce account so these options are very easy when you click on these options it will pop up your it will it will redirect you to your google github twitter or big basket or salesforce account and from that account it will be creating a gitlab account but we are going to attack this first option and we are going to create a gitlab account using this first option that is register now so i'm clicking on that so after that you will see that some filling information which you have to fill so i'm going to fill it as simply done and the username i'm going to give as simply done so after that is going to check the user availability username availability so for me it is showing that username is already taken so i have to give some other username that is i'm going to type one two three so which is available so after that i have to give my email address so i'm going to use my email address this abcd effect at one two three four five whatever your email address is then after i'm going to give a password so password means length should be minimum eight characters so after that you have to just tick on this i'm not a robot sign and then just register so this after that it is going to sign up and you can save your password and your username if you want so for now i'm going to save it if you don't want it just don't save it there so after that it is saying to check your emails to confirm the account so i'm going to click on a new tab and then i'm going to go to my mail So from here, I'm going to my mails. To confirm my account. So here you see I got a mail from GitLab. So I'm going to click on that and you will see this link. So I have to click on this confirm your account link so it is going to redirect you to some new page that is a gitlab page login page so here you will see your username or email and the password which you have given so if you have saved your password you can directly click on this uh, saved password so it is going to type in for you so after that you can click on remember me so you don't have to log in again and again so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to sign in to my gitlab account to save my password one more time so role I have to select as a software developer and I'm signing in because I want to store my code so you can select whatever reason whatever role you are in or whatever reason you are signing in so after that who will be you using GitLab uh, I'm going to say just me I'm going to use it for myself only what would you like to do create a project or join project i would like to create a project so i'm going to click on that email update optional i don't want to receive uh, email updates for me so i'm going to keep it as it is so i'm going to say continue after that so we can create a project now or we can import, import a project so suppose i'm going to create a test project uh, test, test project uh, I'm going to give a group name as group1 and then I have to give the project name as test project. So I'm going to create a project now. So it is saying some error has occurred. 
so I'm going to change the group name to some other group oh it started to get started with GitLab it is going to GitLab account directly so all the setup and all that is done so I'm going to say ok let's go and here you will see your GitLab uh, account is created in the background you see and one pop-up will open so you can add your GitLab members that is your friends who are those there in the GitLab so I'm going to say I'm not going to do that right now so I'm cutting this so here you will see your GitLab account is created that is your username your profile is here all the things in the GitLab is here so this is how you can create your GitLab account and you can also complete your account uh, by setting all the things you need to do by giving your information and filling all those so I'm not going to do that in this video so this is how you can create a GitLab account thank you